Right, join me down here on um, my local syndicate. I'm on the small lake this time, and I've got them going absolutely mental on top over on a tree line. Um, I've already had a take on my zig. I've been here about an hour and a half, nearly two hours, and um, it, it's insane. They're uh, they're taking it quite well, but right at the very end of the drift, I'm putting them out in front, and they're drifting right down there, taking it about a foot away from the bank, so it's a difficult cast. I've got one zig under the surface with yellow foam, and one over depth zig with a fake dog biscuit on. Um, both soaked in um, honey and Yucatan dip, give it a nice bit of flavour. Um, uh, just about to put out some more biscuits and then uh, get back to you when I've got one. Thought I'd uh, show you through what I've uh, what I've got on while it's gone a bit quiet. All the fish have uh, disappeared. There's a bit of a ripper on the water now. Um, just have to wait for it to uh, calm down and get some more bait in. But the uh, the main thing is on one of them I've got a zig liner. Uh, it's in black though on the other one. Um, water's quite coloured, so um, in there. When they're frenzying, it might look like a pellet, it might look like anything. I've got overhanging trees there, so it could even look like a bug or anything, a bit of debris. And they've got to uh, put it in their mouth to try it, they? So that's onto a size 6 wide gape, razor sharp. Just uh, look at it here. And um, I soaked these in honey and yucatan, dip from Richer. It's quite a uh, unused one, but really sweet. Absolutely love it. Put all my boilers in it too as well. I even drop the lead in if I've got a coated lead. Um, but this seems to be uh, doing it. I had this exact one that I've got in my hand. I had the run on this morning. Um, looks sharp. I just uh, must have been a, a, a funny take. It might even have been um, foul looked. I don't know. But took line and uh, hit it, and there was nothing there. But um, that was on the top of a. Um, Fox adjustable zig float so I don't really know the depth too well in this lake so I'll just bring it up to the surface and I know this rig is I think it's two and a half foot so I measure out two and a half foot put my hand there reel in then I know it's on the surface then I'm doing it about six inches below the surface and uh, it proved good this morning but didn't get it in I've got um, one about two foot out there now in about three foot of water and then the adjustable one, I'm moving it every 20 minutes up and down and then moving it around this bay that I've got on my left. So, and uh, that one has got a zigger liner as well and that's in red, I think. So, trying it all, got to, uh, got to try and get a bite. Right. Finally had a bit of action on the surface. Just a free line dog biscuit that's uh, been soaked in honey and Yucatan. This one just there, it's a nice fish, it's heavy. I'm saying it's about 19. Just tried to do it on my scales and they're broken. So, I'm gonna have to leave it for today, but it's, uh, it's definitely got some weight to it. Um, and you can agree, it's an absolutely stunning fish. Just to turn it around. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll put some more pellets out as I had it in the net, and they're still taking, so I'm gonna get back out there. Right, just thought I'd show you the pellet that I'm putting in. It's basically just 
normal dog biscuits that you get from any pet supply store or anything and then the little micro pellets you see in there they're from bait tech floating and uh, they're perfect for this because once the big ones disappear they'll be looking for them for hours right just give you a little update it's been about an hour or so since i had the fish and uh, i was in this peg stalking i had my cradle and uh, all the safety stuff behind me and um, they seem to be taking right on the very end of the drift just before they go under the trees so I've uh, quietly brought myself down here and uh, I've got both my zigs out there fish have uh, just moved on a little bit now but they keep coming back every now and then so I've got a better chance of just flicking rods out here than I have crashing rods out from that other peg so I'm just fishing off the barra all the kits loaded up, just uh, find a dry bit of ground and uh, keep out of the way.